Uh, so risk stratification is one of the, the, the key pillars of, of population health analytics along with with population segmentation uh, and impactability um, and uh, for us it's important to try and identify the right people to target for the interventions that we design as a, as a system or as a partnership and the risk stratification tool is, is one that allows us once we've understood the different segments to our population allows us to uh, apply a, a, a more predictive modelling approach to, to 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 identify where the greatest need uh, is or or may be in the future. Um, predictive modelling, so using tools like the the Johns Hopkins ACG and, and risk stratification tools, is, is has been shown by analysis to be more accurate than than uh, clinical perspectives alone, uh, or in in threshold modelling where you just apply a uh, a, a rule of previous resource use like a number of admissions uh, as a way of identifying people who you may uh, uh, think will be at, at higher risk of, of being admitted in the, in the future. So so Johns Hopkins kind of takes those approaches as, and um, enhances them by applying a degree of analysis of a person's current circumstances uh, to their previous resource use to predict where that risk might be in the future. And for us, that's an enormously powerful tool we think to help bring together um, uh, a range of data to identify which patients may be at the greatest risk of having a, a, a significant health event, events or a deterioration in their health and, and not also just to concentrate on those people who may be at the highest risk uh, because actually understanding where where your risk is perhaps medium and rising uh, uh, and being able to try and think about the characteristics that are shared by people who may not be high risk today, but might well be uh, in the not too distant future is important to ensure that, you know, we understand where we can have the biggest impact with our resource uh, and how we can target individuals uh, again effectively based on an individual risk score uh, based on their circumstances uh, uh, that can allow us to intervene more effectively.